Today, I am messing around with the brand new signal flare. I pretty much mess around with all the other blocks, just not this one as much. And we're going to be using this flare to add it onto an aircraft to make realistic looking flares that deploy from planes as countermeasures. Now, these flares are just clearly just signal flares. They're not really intended to be countermeasures, so they won't actually work. But we can just get some cool cinematics of this, I think. So the plan is to get one of my old AC-130 builds. I'm actually going to take my AC-130 VTOL, because that is one of my most recent AC-130s. Here it is. And we're going to need to modify this so it's no longer a VTOL variant. I'm going to take off the weapons on the side and just try and take back as much complexity as I can to add all of the flares. So this might take a while. This actually might be quite quick of a modification. All I gotta do is really take off the servos here. I can probably just take out a bunch of these internals too. And finally, let's get rid of some of these weapons. Well, actually, there's only two side cannons on the thing. Let's get rid of both of them altogether. And there we go. We successfully have turned our AC-130 VTOL back into a standard AC-130. So let's check real quick how much complexity a signal flare is. Oh, damn. That is a lot. They are free complexity each. I mean, I think I have got more than enough complexity to fit them. Like a bunch of them. Okay. Yeah, no, we shouldn't be able to manage with this. That had me a little worried there, actually. I was going to be like, damn, do I need to make a smaller AC-130? Now, this could be as simple as just slapping on the flares on the sides of the fuselage here to, of the AC-130 and having them deploy like that. Because what I want to do is do the AC-130 Angel of Death wings with the flares. So here's this image, if you don't know what I mean by that. It is essentially flares just launching from like the bottom and the sides to make this angel wing shape. So what I'm thinking I'm going to need to do is make this a little hot. Okay, we've got this big gap, so I'm pretty sure I should have a lot of room to work with. All right, for the first flares, I'm just going to have them stick out like that. But there's a gap here because the rest of the flares that I'm adding are going to have hinges. And each hinge will be slightly angled down a little more than the other one to really get the flares to shoot off in as many different directions as I can. But this is where complexity gets a little scarce now. And each hinge is five complexity. I didn't really think this through, guys. Well, it looks like I can't have two stacks of flares just right now with all these hinges I'm needing. But if I can get the main principle down, then I'm going to be more than happy with that. All right, so there's all the flares. None of them have been uh, configured yet, so they all should just launch on A. And yeah, okay. They all shoot at the same time. So what I'm going to need to do is kind of offset the timing when they launch. But what I need to do first is actually connect all of these hinges to a sensor. So they are always on and I can just turn them in what angle I want them to be. Oh, and I also got to get rid of those controls. All right, all of the flares are now angled at an extra 10 degrees than the one before it. So we have the flat one, which is level there, and then the rest are just angling down. And it looks a little goofy because these flares are just kind of just protruding out of the side of the fuselage. But I mean, they are in a angel wing configuration. So 
So let's see if I can fly with that. Oh yeah, no, that's that's perfect. They're not very heavy, these flares. They're they're kind of perfect for aircrafts, really. But once I press A. That was Oh, there we go. It's kind of hard to see in this daytime. Maybe if I launch them from below. They definitely shoot off into like a, a angel wing orientation, I think. That's the best I can do with the limited complexity. No, yeah, those are wings. Those are definitely deploying like wings. That's awesome. Okay, what I need to do now is offset the timing of the launch for the flares. And that should be all of them now timed correctly. So they're all just offset by 0.5. Let's get in the air and uh, let's try and get some height actually really quick. Okay, I think this is high enough. Let's give it a test. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. That is a lot more satisfying. I think it might be a little too quick. Oh no, wait, no, that's awesome. The, from this top view, those look like flares! Dude, what? That's crazy. They look like countermeasure flares. I know they're already flares, but... <laughs> that is so cool. It's a little hard to see them. Should I change the time of day here, guys? Alright, okay. Here we go. Nice, dude. Those are countermeasures. Fake countermeasures. They don't actually work. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will come up with some kind of mod to make them functional. But remember, they're from the Rescue Pack DLC, guys. They're nothing to do with military combat. But on this channel, we like to go above and beyond. I think the last thing to do, guys, is really just kind of mess with what color I want them to be. Should we try the orange? How does that look? Ooh, that looks like fire. That's awesome. Oh yeah, look at them emitting the light look. Look how much light they emit. That's kind of toasty. What about a yellow? Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with yellow. Just because the images I'm looking at, all the flares are like really yellow. But the, the smoke is white. But for some reason, when I changed the color, I lost the white smoke. I think my default flare was white smoke. But now it seems to be the smoke is yellow. And my primary color is just this gray. So I just think it's the secondary color that affects the color of the flare. But oh well, it's fine. It should still look really good. Let's take off. Landing gear up. And you know what? I'm going to try and do some cinematic modes here. So if I press LB and RB, we are now in the cinematic mode. Okay. Oh, I, I launched the flares. I launched the flares. Let's get closer. We're going to use this new cinematic follow camera to kind of just get a really cool visual on this. Yeah, here we go. Flares. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a cliff. Uh oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. Let's launch as many flares as we can. I'll just wait for them to reload. We're just going to cover the sky with flares. No missiles can hit us right now. <laughs> I love how the flares linger around too. They just kind of just stay there for a while. Hanging out. And I don't necessarily need to launch them all at the same time. I can just do a couple. And then do the rest. Well, I am very happy with this little experiment. I hope you guys are impressed as I am with this. Maybe you guys could do a better job. It has been fun just trying out the flares and uh, seeing what they look like. Maybe I could do like multiple colored flares. But if we're trying to stay realistic and true to like actual flares, maybe this is the best color or maybe the default color was better. Let me know what you think. But let's deploy them one more time from behind. There we go. Awesome. Oh, one more thing. The DLC and update are now out live as of today of this video release, the 24th of April. So if you haven't got the DLC, go ahead and grab it if you really, really want it. I definitely think it's worth it. I, there's some great new additions to the game. And if you have any more suggestions on what I can do next, definitely leave them down below. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye.